So one note before I get started, this video was recorded just after the last one. I bought some lights and a new um, cell phone in which to do these videos, and I have no idea the best settings or anything to use for these. And I'm, I'm just going to figure it out. Uh, the lights were pointed one direction in the last video and the other direction in this video, and I have no idea. I noticed some shadows in the first one, so we'll, we'll figure it out from there. But the, the thing I want to talk about now is procrastination. And I think it's the most sinister thing that's ailing me right now. And I think the real issue that I have is a sort of cognitive dissonance. On one hand, I've, I've read enough books and I understand science and I've had a couple philosophy classes that have convinced me of the non-existence of free will that free will is an illusion. On the same token, I've studied enough psychology, and I've taken enough psychology classes, I've got a degree in psychology, that I understand that the people who are the most successful, the people who can get the most done, the people that are the most happy with themselves, are those that have an internal locus of control, who feel to be an agent in their lives. And I think it's accepting that I need to make myself believe that I have control while not lying to myself that I do is what gives me the biggest struggle. And then there's the whole fact of realizing, you know, the shortness of life and things to that end where I, I always go for more instant gratification. You know, I understand things about finance, about compound interest, yet here I am and I haven't done any real things with savings for retirement yet. I understand that, you know, a small change today can have a great payoff tomorrow, yet this whole morning I've just been watching YouTube videos and it wasn't until halfway through the afternoon that I started actually setting this up. I don't know what the solution is, because having cognitive distance is a cause for stress, and the more stressors you have in life, well, all sorts of different neurological diseases, um, most substantial in my mind is MS, which my father died from and my mother currently has. So how, how do I work around needing to acknowledge my limitations with building up an image of myself that will cause better outcomes in the future while not building into some stressful situation that causes me harm. I, I don't know, but I do know that I need to be doing more things. And this is one of those things. Hopefully, maybe by making videos like this, it'll be a sort of outward accountability that I have that will maybe publicly or at least consciously cause me to realize, oh, hey, I haven't uploaded a video, you know, I haven't done things and make me cognizant of what I have and haven't done that I wanted to do. And maybe if I say those things that I wanted to do out to the public, then somehow some of that can come back and implement, you know, some kind of change in my life. These videos aren't going to be edited for many reasons. One, um, Casey Neistat kind of inspired me to try to do things more honestly. His, like, blogging platform Beam is kind of interesting, where you can't edit or clip anything, you just post. But also, more importantly, because my desktop is dead. I broke it one night by I have no idea how, and I haven't had the money, time, or energy to fix it. And so, I can't fix it. So that's how these videos are going to be. But hopefully, someone can enjoy them. If not just myself later in 10 years. 